In legitimacy, players are trying to reach the main tower while holding three crown jewels. In the box, you'll find character cards which have the good and evil side to them, pets which will raise your attributes or give you special abilities, playing boards which represent different regions of the kingdom, a deck of cards for each of these regions, crown jewel cards which are what you need to win the game, player pawns and a die to move your pawn around the kingdom. To set up the game, place the blackboard in the center of the table. Each player will choose a character and then a random pet to go with that character. Those two cards go face down in front of each player. Each character has a color. Take the same color boards and place them adjacent to the center tile. This forms the kingdom. Take the deck of cards for each of those regions, including the black region, and shuffle them all together. This will make the draw deck. For each region, take the top card from that deck and place it in the market. Shuffle all the jewel cards and place them next to the playing area. Each character has a starting location written on the card, so place your pawns on those locations. You're now ready to start the game. The main goal to win this game is to collect three jewels and then go to the tower. To collect jewels, you simply have to go to black spots on the board, draw a card and hope for a quest card. Then go to the location on the quest card and discard the quest card to draw a jewel card. Crown jewel cards are placed face up in front of you and some of them also give you special abilities to raise your stats. Once you have three of these, you have to go to the tower to win the game. A player starts his first turn by rolling a die and adding his movement value to that number. He can now move around the kingdom that many spaces but can stop any time before wasting all his movement points. If you land on a black space, you get to draw a card from the draw pile. Once you've ended your movement, you can attack a player if you are adjacent to him. You can also cast a spell and or fulfill a quest card if you are on the card's location. If you draw a creature who is good, and you are also good, then you can add it to your party to boost your stats. To attack an adjacent player, you roll a die and add your attack value to the roll. The defender does the same thing. The player who has a higher number can take a card from the loser's inventory or a random card from his hand. When you attack a player, you become evil and all good creatures will leave your party before the attack even takes place. If you fulfill a quest, you become good again and all evil creatures leave your party. You can also do ranged attacks and cast spells from a distance. This is where your magic comes in. It determines how far you can cast a spell card on another player. So basically, players are going around the kingdom completing quests to acquire treasures while defending themselves from other players and making it hard for them to complete their quests. I want to mention that you can only have seven cards in total on your side, and this includes your character card, pets, jewels, creatures, and all cards in your hand. So you have to make strategic decisions on what to keep. The market space is used to exchange a card you own for a card in the marketplace. To use the marketplace, just land on that space and do the action. It's a good game for people who like to attack other players and stop them from winning. The artwork is fun and comical. The rule book is well written with examples and images. It's fun that the kingdom will always be randomly generated and this helps with the replay value.